Do you know that hummingbirds are the smallest birds on earth? Some species are just two and a half inches long. That's tiny. The bee hummingbird is the world's smallest bird. It weighs the same amount as a dime. Can you imagine that? Hummingbirds eat nectar from flowers. They eat all day long. The average hummingbird eats half its weight in nectar and insects each day. That means they have to make their way to thousands of flowers between 1,000 and 2,000 per day. Hummingbirds must eat every 10 to 15 minutes. But what happens when there are no flowers? Many hummingbirds migrate to warmer climates during wintertime. But how can we help hummingbirds that stay at home? We can make a hummingbird feeder. Let's do it together. Hey guys, my name is Alex, and today I'll be telling you some facts about hummingbirds. I'm gonna make hummingbird nectar. I'm gonna tell you about hummingbirds. Hmm. Did you guys know that hummingbirds are the smallest birds on earth? And they can fly super duper 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 fast. They fly so fast, they need so much energy. There's a hummingbird. There's just a hummingbird. They're like, hello! I'm here to see your video! I'm here to be in it! This is actually their wings because they move so, 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 so fast. They can actually flap their wings 90 times a second. That's so fast. They eat nectar, but what do they eat in the winter? There's no flowers. So we're gonna help them out and make some them some nectar. Homemade nectar. All right, guys, let's start. First, we're going to add sugar. I'm going to actually do it bit by bit. I'm going to do sugar, water. Oh, I did not expect that. I'm going to add more water. Sugar. Oh, like sugar. So we're adding one cup of sugar and four cups of water. And then we have to mix it, mix it, mix it. But let's dump it. Okay, that's a lot. That's a lot. We're gonna boil it till it dissolves and then we're, we have to cool it down a little bit. Let's go. So guys, I'm gonna stir it now. I don't wanna get in my eye or in my face. But anyway, make sure you're doing this with an adult. Okay, our nectar's ready now. We did four cups of water to one cup of sugar. You boil it, you let it cool down. And so now we have it uh, nice and cool and we can pour it into our nice, hummingbird beautiful feeder. hummingbird feeder, right? And which way you can have this kind of go up or down. So they can sit on it like this and do mm -hmm. this. I don't know what that is for. Well, you could just put them all the way up like that, and then that way they'll just hover instead of being able to stand uh, to sit on it, right? So it'll be, be more hard. interesting to watch, right? Okay. Right. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Might spill a little bit. Hold it still. Okay. Oh, all right. We'll keep it right there. Uh, now. It's so heavy. Now what we gotta do is we gotta put the top on, which is actually the bottom of the feeder, because yeah. the nectar will come out, and then we flip it over really fast. Ready? One, two, three. The nectar ah. will come out of these little flowers. So when the hummingbirds put their little beak in it, they'll be able to drink it because they have very long beaks. Whatever they are. Very long beaks. Now, where are we gonna go hang this? Hmm, let's see. So it can't be shady in that spot all day and sunny in that spot all day why is that because if it's in the sun too much it's gonna get too hot right. and if it's in the shade too much then it's gonna get too cold and the nectar will spoil quickly yeah right okay you want to go look around yeah all right let's go search around <laughs> So, 
better to put it somewhere up there. They're up there with some nectar. And now we just gotta wait until another hummingbird comes to drink. So, there was a little hummingbird right there. Guys, there's a hummingbird. I'm so cute. Let's wait until another one comes. If you guys like my hummingbird feeder, then smash that like button and subscribe to my channel. Bye! Flutter away!